Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. Today is the 2nd of July 2020 and yes, you are not seeing double, you can see my twin brother there. I thought it was about time I started to introduce my twin brother on my channel and what better time than to do that? It's our birthday today. So it's a really, really incredible day, really, really quite special. As any of you will know if you've been watching my channel that I have had a bit of a corker of 2020. I've had lots of things going on, lots of health problems going on. And of course, throw the coronavirus pandemic in there. It's been an absolute one to remember. Let's put it that way. So let's get down to business. It's the 2nd of July. And you know what? How old are we today? So Cameron, how old are we today? We're 27. We're 27. And do you know what? It's 27 years of, yeah, absolutely. A lot of arguing, a lot of shouting, but I have to admit, it's pretty, pretty amazing to be a twin. A lot of people always ask us, do we feel the same thing when something happens to us? Do excuse me, by the way, I can probably hear a telephone phoning. You'll know from my channel I have hearing problems, so the, the home phone in this house is super, super loud. We're just going to carry on talking, and if you can hear that, I do apologise. So a lot of people ask us, actually, through growing up, if that we can feel something if something happens to us, and this happens quite often, and I can be anywhere and somebody can ask that, and I'm sure, Cameron, the same can happen to you as well. Yeah, absolutely. So the thing is with this, if we was to do a test, I absolutely categorically know that we would get it wrong because twins do not work like that. We're two individual people. In fact, I'm going to think of a word and you're going to say the first word what comes into your head, but I'm not going to say it. So if we do that, number one, so I'm going to go three, two, one. I thought of something. What is it, Cameron? Blue. Wrong. So we're going to think of a favourite food and we're going to test that again and we're going to go three, two, one. Pasta. Actually, that one was correct. So that's, that's really, really quite good. OK, let's move on. So birthday. What have I been doing today? So do you know what? Birthdays are always such an amazing time. But, you know, I was really, really looking forward to this one. And it's absolutely amazing. It's really, really lovely to have such an amazing family. And I will certainly be able to speak the camera on this. We have absolutely amazing parents, amazing grandparents. That's and we have an absolutely stunning grandmother, our nan who we are waiting avidly to be able to get to see her because of the coronavirus pandemic. We haven't actually been able to see her at the moment. And that's my na uh, my mum's mum. But, you know, what? we have had so many cards, so many gifts, and we've been absolutely spoiled. We really, really have. Um, when I talk about birthdays, my, my favourite thing, birthdays, is actually, it sounds really quite as I'm a much, much older person, isn't it? But it's the words. I, I really do like to think I have a way with words. And when I receive cards, and I think that there is a way of being able to show somebody how much you think of them through the choice of your words. And that's one of my favourite things, receiving cards and really, really finding out what a choice someone has made for you. And of course, not forgetting the amazing gifts, which I have received some absolutely stunning stuff. For example, aftershave products, stuff for my hair. I've received lighting systems for YouTube. That's probably why I'm looking so much more brighter in my channel, because we're trying that one out now, which is super, super cool. I have received brandy. I've received champagne. I've received so many amazing gifts. And you know what? I It just doesn't stop. It's been a day of surprises. We've had a really, really lunch, lovely lunch together with Cameron, Cameron's partner, and his little daughter, Sienna, which is absolutely amazing. In fact, this is the first time on the channel, so I've told you many, many times before, Cameron, but of course, so we've got this on my channel, you will know that my channel, if you've been watching, is all about capturing the ups and downs of the bumpy road of life. This was a huge, momentous, fantastic time in Cameron's life and one for us all. So, so it's on my channel. A very, very congratulations on Thank your you. little baby daughter, Sienna. Thank you. Brilliant. What's the most amazing thing about becoming a, becoming a dad at such a young age as well? something else that's belonging to me, uh, something else that I've got to look after. Um, just the enjoyment, really, of looking at something that you created is it's fantastic. It's probably the best gift that you could have or receive. It's, it's incredible. It's incredible. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And you know what, seeing that, Cameron has just come to fatherhood like a duck to water. Um, and it's really, really such an amazing thing to be able to see that my twin, who you've grown up with, you've been a small child with and uh, a teenager, you shouted at this person, you've hit that person we've argued. you've argued we certainly have argued but then of course we have some amazing times as well and to see that person so close to you becoming a father is incredible and i'm very very close to cameron's partner as well and it's just a really really nice bond we have in the family great, so today has just been absolutely amazing and at the moment what's been your your favorite thing about today the the togetherness of being together like in previous years it's been pretty difficult at times with working hours or other things such and such operations or whatever but the togetherness i think being together sharing the moment together is fantastic yeah and you know what something so simple of just being together on our birthday we've turned 27 today but you know for the past several years 
One of us has been working. Cameron comes from an industry. He's an absolutely amazing chef. I'm sure he won't mind me saying this. Um, he is absolutely incredible. And what he doesn't know culinary wise isn't probably worth knowing. Let's put it that way, to be honest with you. Um, but he has extremely, extremely long hours. I've come from a background in, uh, I don't mind saying now because I'm not in it, banking, and I've gone in recently to a finance role. So in my hours, when I've got time off, Cameron's working. When Cameron had time off... It's vice versa, isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. So today's just been really, really amazing to think that we've both had the time off, and it's just been really, really nice to spend that time together. And it's and it's lovely. I've got to see my, my niece. It's lovely. I've, I've, I've spoke with my aunt. I, I've spoke with um, the people who look after my nan yesterday to make sure she's okay, so we know at heart that that's going to okay. be fine and I, and I cannot wait to see her now um, I'm really really getting annoyed that I can't now and I'm sure a lot of other people are but I've spoke to so many people today received so many cards Cameron has as well absolutely um, we're both planning not together but we're planning to have a really lovely evening mine I will be at home Cameron will be at his new home Another congratulations yeah, there, by you. the way, as well. Thank you. And do you know what? That's gonna, that's pretty special as well. It's going to be his first birthday in his own home. So that's going to be really, really lovely. And do you know what? Just brilliant. I mean, as I say, yeah, I haven't had the best of health recently. But do you know what? I really, really looked forward to it today. Woke up this morning like I was absolutely five years old. And I woke up with gifts and things. And do you know what? It's, it's just really, really special. So you're probably getting a little bit fed up of me talking now, to be honest, but I've got some questions because this is the first time I've had my brother, my twin brother, which is really, really strange because I know I've done about, 100, about 161 videos, I think now. Not one of them has included my twin brother on there. But this is going to be something quite new and it's going to be something which we're going to start including on my channel as well. You will know, as I've said many, many times before, that my channel is all about the bumpy road of life, good things and bad. And as of lately, we've all gone through some really horrific things. And I know from both of us, that if you are watching this and you have been affected by the COVID-19 situation, our heart and very best wishes goes out to you and we wish you well and look after each other, stay safe, never ever take risks. And you know what, if that person means the world to you, make sure you yeah, tell them. Absolutely. 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 The most important thing. Never ever think there's going to be another time. Never think there's going to be another time to tell your mum, your dad, your nan, your granddad, your uncle, whoever is close to you in your life. You're never guaranteed a tomorrow, are you? That's absolutely, what we say. absolutely. And that is something which Cameron knows. My saying is, none of us are promised a tomorrow. And do you know what? That really stands home with me all the time, every minute of the day. Let's move on. So with Cameron. So, what is your favourite thing about? Not today but being a twin? I think it's quite an easy answer, to be honest. I've been asked this quite a few times in my life. It's the togetherness of me and you, really. It's quite cheesy, but it's the bond we have that people can't actually see. When you're sat in a room with a friend, you have to ask for the answers, ask for the questions. When you're a twin, it's you can look at each other in the right moment, in the right time, and you know the answer. You know what they're thinking. You know if they're feeling down. You know if they're positive or negative or if they're worried. You, you just feel that. It's just a thing you get. And if there are any other twins out there, they will understand that. People will people will disagree, but there's nothing to disagree about. I'm telling you, that's what it is. We have the connection, and it's a wonderful connection, and it's a true gift, and I love that. So that, for me, that is the best thing about being a twin. Yeah, absolutely. And you know what? I Even though I've asked Cameron, I probably would have said something quite similar, to be honest with you, because the thing is, at any time of the day, if it's one o'clock in the morning, and of course, bearing in mind, I live in the family home now, Cameron doesn't. Um, I can pick up the phone at 1am in the morning, could even be 2 in the morning at times, sometimes later. And I know that that phone is going to be picked up and I know whether or not I'm shouting, whether or not if I'm worried about something, whether or not I'm stressing about something. I know I'm going to come off that phone feeling a lot better. And I'd like to think that Cameron felt the same yeah, way as well. Absolutely, totally, totally. The, one of the best things for me, I have to think as well, is because we all get very alone in this modern world. And very, very often... Yes, we have phones. Yes, we have technology at every angle of our life. Absolutely, we do. Um, however, I'm more the traditional person, I have to admit. But I do, of course, I'm an avid user of technology. But one of my favourite things about having Cameron as my twin is that whenever you are or you feel you are all alone and all your friends are busy, you're not. Because if you're feeling that nobody ever gets you in the world or you're feeling like that what you're trying to achieve career-wise, life-wise... And life takes us in so many different territories, whether it be fatherhood, whether it be, goodness me, new employment, whether it be wealth. He's always there. So I suppose that comes down to being togetherness as well. When, like I always say, that a lot of people will say that it must be really, really cool to be a twin. But I don't think it's cool. I think it's a gift. 
And again, that might well sound cheesy, but it really, really is. So this is Cameron, and he will be on my channel a lot more now. It's really great to be twins. Um, it's really great to have him on the channel now. And, it's, and, it, and I really, really hope that you've enjoyed watching this clip. Getting to know a little bit about us, a completely different life uh, sort of aspect to my channel, certainly. Very often you will know that I concentrate on reviewing products about hair journeys, uh, such as the Viviscal, which we're looking at currently at the moment. And please be aware that, yes, you're looking at my hair in a different style. I love the 1910s, 1920s inspired looks. We are currently at about the three months, three weeks mark into my Viviscal journey. Lots of good things going on there. Do have a look on my channel at those Viviscal clips. They are certainly worth the watch, even if I say so myself. Yes, definitely. I totally agree. I'm a great <laughs> fan. I'm getting there with the hair products as well, to be honest. I, yeah, certainly. And, I, and do you know what? I don't I, I don't pay Cameron to say this. I have not pushed him to say any of this at all. As twins, we're perfectly capable of saying something to one another we don't like. And it could end up in rumpuses. But to be honest with you, five seconds, it's forgotten it's and forgiven. Cameron's hairstyle, which he's rocking today, which just reminds me, actually, is a style which I have cut, for example. So Cameron always likes his, let's just touch on that very, very quickly. So Cameron always likes his sides extremely short. He likes quite a defined line. He doesn't like things blended. And we always start at about a 0 0.5. Very often I will sneakily fade it up to a 1 just so it's not so harsh. And then the top, we've done point cutting here. We've got a lot of texture. We've cut a lot of the weight out. And that's probably about, maybe the length is probably about up to about 2 inches. In places we've cut a lot yeah. of the weight out. And... Cameron likes to use wax products. Yeah. He doesn't like pomades or gels. He likes lightweight products, so such as pomades, pastes, to really get that look going. And he likes a lot of volume in his hair as well. Yeah, absolutely. Whereas me, I like the traditional, the classic slick back look as well. Or I do like to go over the top and really accentuate volume in my hair as well. So you could say traditional and modern, but then again, sometimes we turn it around and Cameron does tradition, I do modern. Um, and yeah, absolutely. What a great way and what a fantastic aspect in our birthday to be able to do this clip. It was just a, a mind sort of flash come up and thought, what about if I do something a little bit different today? Here we are, the afternoon, it's 16.25 here in the UK on the 2nd of July, our birthday. Thank you very, very much for taking just over 12 minutes and sharing that moment with us. Thanks very much. Thanks, take care. All right, thank you. And until next time, we will see you then. Bye-bye now.